whether you're a restaurant entrepreneur looking for a bank loan, investors, or perhaps some partners, or maybe you're an architect or a designer commission of designing a new restaurant concept, you will need a tool to communicate your vision and your ideas to the world. And that tool is called a restaurant concept document. I am super excited to be writing and building this video series for you guys because this has been a topic that has been so heavily requested on the channel and i really wanted to give you a very practical guide on how to build your own restaurant concept um, in this video series i will be telling you all the different parts a restaurant concept document should have um, how to build your own, how to craft each and every section and part of this document. I'll be sharing some experience from my 13 years of operational um, kind of fiddling with hotels and restaurants. I have 11 hotel and restaurant openings behind me. So I've done quite a few of those and have been heavily involved in quite a few of those restaurant concept documents. We're going to have some examples. We're going to have some fun. We're going to learn. And by the end of it, you will have your own restaurant concept document. I can't wait and I hope you're excited as I am and uh, yeah, let's do this. <sighs> Welcome my cinnamon pumpkin lattes. Today we're going to be going over how to build your own restaurant concept um, and today we're going to be talking about executive summary. Very fancy, you know, we like a good executive. So let's get into it. Well. Before we start, just a couple of words about me. I am a uh, operational manager with over 13 years of experience. I've worked with uh, many, many brands, as you can see uh, here, and I have done quite a lot of hotel and restaurant openings. Uh, therefore, I have been involved very heavily in building, creating, enhancing, uh, or like revamping restaurant concepts and brands. Um, so therefore, um, I'm really, really excited to share some of my uh, experience uh, from uh, the industry in just the, yeah, a long time uh, and all the long time I've been doing this. So who is this video for? Um, as I mentioned earlier, um, this is for entrepreneurs and investors who are looking into opening their own restaurant uh, business. Uh, this is also for architects and designers who are commissioned in working on um, a restaurant concept because this is a lot of the information that they would have to have or seek out of their clients uh, in order to kind of get an idea of how to make the clients vision into reality through their designs. Um, this is also very, very helpful for anybody who operates a restaurant currently, because that can help them to kind of really clarify uh, their restaurant concept and therefore take any uh, optimization uh, um, kind of uh, practices or perhaps corrective measurements on uh, how to kind of fix their own perhaps target market or offering and so on and kind of keep optimizing their operations. So uh, very, very good if you're also a, let's say, a restaurant manager. So what is a restaurant uh, concept uh, um, uh, document? We're going to talk a little bit about it today, uh, but it does have a few key components. And again, uh, depending on the type of establishment you're opening, perhaps you would have more or less of those. Uh, perhaps some will be larger than the others, but these are pretty much the, um, uh, the elements of a restaurant concept document. Um, and in this lecture video series, we're going to be going over each one of them uh, in detail. And we're going to be starting with executive summary. So um, in order to craft a compelling executive summary uh, for your restaurant, um, let's uh, just kind of talk a little bit about what is an executive summary. And an executive summary is really the central pillar or the cornerstone of your restaurant concept. Um, so this is like a really kind of a short snapshot um, and really, really the core or the center, uh, I, the central idea of your concept. Um, and the idea of it is to really, really kind of grab and capture the answers of your culinary vision, of the type of uh, experience you would like to give to your customers. Um, and the idea of this is that you uh, inform 
uh, people of your vision. Um, you can also get investors and partners very, very excited um, as well as staff members later on when it is time for you to hire your staff. Um, there are a few things that you um, should do, a um, few questions to answer or a uh, few key points to incorporate within your executive summary. Um, and these are, um, number one, the unique selling proposition of your restaurant. We also refer that to that as USP. Um, it is a, a very, very key concept within um, kind of conceptualization of uh, brands and so on. So we will be talking a lot about it. So maybe you're going to see it as unique selling proposition or USP uh, for the rest of this video series. The second most important thing you need to mention or describe in your uh, executive summary is um, the uh, market that you're targeting, meaning the people uh, you're hoping to come to your restaurant uh, or coffee shop, um, their dining needs and expectations. So we are looking at essentially to be a little bit more technical, your target market and their uh, wants and needs. Um, and this is extremely important. And I think this is probably the point in which most restaurant entrepreneurs um, kind of make mistakes um, or they don't really go deep enough into understanding their target market. And I do think that this is probably one of the way, one of the reasons why um, new, newly established places um, have quite a lot of issues of picking up kind of a um, core uh, customers and repeat business. Um, but again, we will have an absolutely separate uh, presentation about it. Um, so we're going to talk a lot more about the target market, but this is something super important. You should really understand it very well. Um, and of course, it is very, very key uh, who you're going to be selling to essentially. Um, so uh, having a description of your target market within your executive summary is extremely important. Um, one thing that almost any investor or partner or um, kind of a bank would be interested in um, is to understand your competitive advantages or basically what makes your business or what will set your restaurant apart from the competition. And again, this doesn't have to be necessarily completely unique um, on the kind of grand scheme of the world. Uh, of course, if your concept is super unique, this is fantastic, but it is very important for you to describe and explain um, how your business will be different from the ones around it, um, especially for the location that probably you have already uh, selected or chosen. Um, it is also very important to add uh, some projected financial milestones and growth potential. And this is important if you're seeking investors, partners or a bank loan, but it is also super important uh, for you to see whether, so to say, the numbers add up. Um, are you um, basically in very, very um, kind of simplified version um, how much you need to sell of what for how often or how many a day uh, in order to make money and then also think a little bit about how much stuff and how kind of kind of how um, much expenses you would be having um, to um, you know, in order to run your business, uh, you kind of take what you think you could make, you um, subtract what you think you would be spending um, and kind of, you know, it should be profitable. So it should make sense. This is an oversimplification of the concept, but ideally you should also have, um, you know, some financial milestones and, you know, have some finances and some projections over there. Uh, in the executive summary. Again, it doesn't have to be too much into detail because again, it is a summary, but you know, this is also an important point to uh, add into it. So um, the idea of the executive summary is that you have to very, very quickly kind of capture the attention of the reader um, and really convey the most important information, which as we said, it is your USB, it is your target market. It is uh, how your business is going to be different and how it's going to stand out from the competition. And of course, a little sprinkle of finances because, you know, at the end of the day, it is not a nonprofit. We are running for profit and we need to make sure that we can show how our business can make us money, honey. 
Funny enough, um, a summary is the first thing that you will have in a concept document. However, um, you most likely will be putting this together last. Um, what that means is that most likely you will be working on the different parts of your, um, let's go back just for a second, uh, but you're going to be working on the different parts. You're going to probably clarify your target market, your menu, the service style, ambience, you know, a little bit of marketing strategy, financials, etc. And only then you will extract the core information out of it and you're going to put it into a summary. So uh, even that is the part that uh, the document starts with, it is often put together last. Capturing the essence of your restaurant concept. As we said, the executive summary should really, really capture the essence. And by the essence, I mean, what is the heart and the soul, the core, the fundamental kind of essence. Yeah, I kind of find a better word, but like the essence of your restaurant concept. Um, and again, it is absolutely worth it thinking um, long and hard for the um uh for uh, what that essence is and really refining it and really making sure it is very very clearly described uh but as we said in order to capture the essence you should answer a few questions um and as we said your restaurant unique selling proposition or usp is super important um and in order to explain this or kind of um you know uh, describe this you should uh, answer those simple questions so one is what sets your restaurant apart from the competition this is a very easy way of uh, thinking about your usp um and what makes it truly special and and um, as I said, think long and hard about this because um, it is extremely, extremely important for kind of building the rest of your restaurant concept. Um, target market, we said super important. Uh, you should be answering the questions of who is your ideal customer? Um, how, you know, how do they behave? How do they look like? Not look like in terms of visage and look, uh, but what are their uh, behaviors, what are their preferences, needs and expectations. Um, and again, we will talk in detail about that uh, later on in the video series. Um, you should highlight your culinary concept. Um, and again, whether this is a restaurant or a cafe or some kind of a fast dining um, establishment, you should explain your culinary concept. Essentially, people are coming uh, to your place to purchase food and beverage. Um, so it is uh, absolutely key to explain very clearly um, what your culinary concept is, uh, what kind of cuisine, what kind of style would you be uh, offering, uh, what is your signature dish or drink, um, and how that kind of makes sense uh, within your uh, USP and how that fits um, in your target market. Um, it is very also important to understand that um, your customers are not coming uh, for uh, just the product that you purchase. Um, this is why we in hospitality, um, essentially what we what hospitality products are made of, what um, service products are made of, are the tangible, which is the physical good that you're selling, the actual drink, the food, and the intangible, which is the service and the ambience and the atmosphere of your establishment. Um, and very often your customers pay or are willing to pay way more for the intangible, meaning um, ambience, atmosphere and service than for the tangible. Um, and this is the difference between, uh, let's say, um, going a and buying a juice uh, from a coffee shop um, versus buying a juice from a supermarket. Um, and of course, people are willing to pay a lot more um, for the one that they get in a coffee shop because of the service, the ambience and the kind of feel good um, um, kind of experience that they get uh, within uh, the experience. So extremely, extremely important. And it is really key to uh, include within your um, restaurant concept summary. 
uh, as we said, service style is the other uh, end of the intangible part of your um, kind of service offering. And this is really some something that um, you can really use to uh, make your restaurant stand out. Uh, you can use this to charge way more uh, than what your product actually costs you. And this is the biggest opportunity where you can make the most money. Um, so of course, super important, super key, um, and you should uh, definitely have this within um, your restaurant summary uh, kind of restaurant concept summary um, and describe the type of uh, service style you're looking into uh, conveying and kind of how you would do that that of course could be uh, yeah, very casual it could be fine dining uh, or it could be hybrid um, this is also very very important for your financial projections because of course um, the type of uh, service will very very much uh, dictate um, what type of staff and how much staff you need to hire um, therefore um, you know um, that will have to be taken in consideration uh, within your finances as hospitality is a very uh, kind of man um, labor like labor heavy or labor intensive industry um, and labor is a big expense uh, for hospitality. Uh, therefore, it is very, very important to think of how much staff you would need essentially to serve your style of service. Um, you should definitely touch base on your marketing strategy or kind of uh, demonstrating the fact that you know your target market um, and also describing of how uh, you would use that information to generate interest um, and how you would uh, kind of get people to come around and uh, at least try uh, what you have to offer in your place. Uh, as we said, financial projections, it is very important. Even if you're not looking for an investment, it is very important for yourself to have um, at least some brief uh, financial projections uh, and think about your expenses, your profit margins, break-even point, when do you expect to uh, achieve that break-even point and so on. Um, so again, super key information to include in your summary. Um, staff and management team, again, that would be very heavily dictated by the type of um, uh, service you're planning to, to deliver um, and that can help you um, kind of really think about the type of um, uh, experience and expertise you're going to be looking into the staff also uh, what type of professionals you're going to be looking into etc so this is also key to um, really think of and add into your summary in order to capture the attention of the reader you should tell a compelling story uh, in order to do that, I always recommend to use uh, concise language and avoid jargon and technical terms. Uh, while you may be very, very well acquainted with technical terms, um, this document is usually used for a wide variety of uh, audience. Therefore, avoiding jargon and technical terms will be a good idea. Try to explain things in a very simple and plain language, even if you need to use a little extra wording, uh, but try to explain it in a way that you would be explaining it to a five-year-old and stay away from technical jargon. Um, of course, always try to tell a story and engage your audience, use rich, uh, words um, and a lot of adjectives uh, in describing uh, your uh, your restaurant concept. Um, just paint a picture and um, try to translate your excitement for your concept um, in a way that it also will excite uh, your readers. Um, and of course, needless to say, proofread, always proofread. There is nothing more off-putting as seeing a beautiful document that has grammatical errors or typos. Um, I wanted to show you guys a um, couple of examples of uh, restaurant concepts um, and, and just give you an idea of how a uh, kind of the key points of the restaurant summary could sound like for uh, those couple of examples. So here we have a Thai restaurant concept um, and the USP is a fast casual Thai restaurant with a focus on fresh authentic ingredients, a vibrant atmosphere and a commitment to sustainable practices. 
As you can see here, I really love this USP because every word has a poem. Every word means something and it helps us to paint a picture um, of what this concept is all about. Um, and the words fresh, authentic stands out immediately. Fast, casual, I know exactly what that means. Um, vibrant atmosphere, it already talks about the ambience. Um, and I like their kind of trying to um, kind of stand out from the competition by, you know, making a big commitment to sustainability. Um, and you can see even with this one single sentence, we can already get a kind of the essence and the main idea behind that concept. Uh, their target market is millennials and Gen Z professionals who are health conscious, value authentic experiences and enjoy trying new cuisines. And you can already see and kind of imagine and picture the um, clientele. So we have professionals that most likely will be going there for lunch. So um, I'm assuming that this will be a... Um, kind of a, a, a casual lunch place for professionals. Um, perhaps it could also be after work, uh, but it's definitely gonna be heavy on lunch and dinner um, around the office hours. Um, I completely imagine um, um, how the fastness of the concept delivery will be also very, very important. Um, I can imagine this would be uh, somewhere where you could also sit down and maybe have your meal very, very quickly. But I can almost see this being almost um, kind of mainly a takeaway place. Um, by talking about the vibrancy of the atmosphere and uh, kind of creating buzz, creating a little bit of uh, uh, kind of maybe uh, even allowing some kitchen noises to come out, maybe having an open uh, kitchen. Um, I can completely see this. Um, the culinary concept is a traditional with a modern twist. Um, and again, focusing on the fresh and seasonal, uh, again, here comes again, the sustainability practice are shining through. Um, we're talking about, um, again, kind of showing this traditional Thai food, but also not taking it too seriously, which really kind of makes sense within the fast casualness of uh, the, the concept and totally makes sense. Um, ambience and atmosphere, lively and welcoming atmosphere with colorful decor, open kitchen concept and interactive cooking demonstrations. Totally makes sense. I uh, completely, um, I can say that even with these four sentences and you know what I mean when I said that it has to be using rich adjectives and, and kind of making sure that we do have some cat action going on here while we're filming today, but um, so sorry for that. Um, but as you can see here, even though this is essentially four sentences, each one of them is so strongly written that it really paints a very complete picture. And I'm sure that you can also start imagining how this concept looks like already. Uh, so when building your own restaurant concept, think about how can you uh, really, really pack a, um, a pack a punch within your executive summary and make sure that every word that you decide to put in those sentences really fights for its place and really, really kind of represents what you're trying to uh, describe. Um, and if you are a, um, of course, a designer or a uh, architect, um, this type of information will probably be absolutely sufficient of you to start ideating um, around what your customer wants. Um, and if you don't have this, perhaps you should, um, you know, uh, book a meeting or a few with your customer and really try to extract this information from them because this is really what is going to kind of kickstart the conversation um, of like how this vision would start coming into, into practice. And here we have some samples of an executive summary for an Italian restaurant concept. Um, and here the USP is authentic Italian cuisine with a focus on fresh seasonal ingredients, traditional cooking methods and a cozy family friendly atmosphere. This is quite 
cool USP and a quite cool kind of uh, business card, one sentence description of what the business is, because I'm pretty sure that you guys can already see this place. I think we all have seen um, or been to one of those um, Italian kind of family friendly, cozy little restaurants. Um, and to me, this is already painting a picture of how the decor would look like, what the vibe would be, what the food will be, um, and kind of the ambience and the atmosphere. Um, of course, this will be targeting families and couples, um, and uh, it will focus on customers who appreciate traditional Italian cuisine. So it's, this is something very important uh, to kind of consider, um, because later on when we are building our uh, menu offering, this will be um, something very, very important in this particular example. Uh, the culinary concept, of course, will be um, kind of a recipe passed through the generations, like your old Italian grandma um, kind of food. Um, I guess um, it will be with a focus on locally sourced uh, ingredients um, and, of course, keeping all those techniques and all this cooking very traditional Italian. Um, ambience and atmosphere, as you can already imagine, is going to be warm and cozy and friendly um, with soft lightning, perhaps, um, you know, like maybe a little kind of candle put in a bottle on a wine bottle that is kind of melted on top and... Yeah, this kind of stuff. So, you know, uh, the so to say, the is, is we like to think of it as the charm of the traditional Italian trattoria. And as you can see again here, we have only four sentences, but they so clearly kind of give us a snapshot and a picture, and really kind of gives us the the sparkles and the essence and the kind of um, spice, sugar and spice and everything nice of this particular restaurant concept. Um, so I hope those examples um, kind of give you an idea of how you can build your own. Um, and again, don't worry too much about it right now, because even though the executive summary is the first um, element of a restaurant concept document, this will come um, out of many, many iterations of refinement on all the other parts of the um, kind of building your uh, restaurant concept as a whole. Uh, but um, I hope you get excited thinking about how the kind of little key points and snapshot of your restaurant concept would look like. Um, and because I do get a lot of questions from you guys around um, you know, restaurant concept and restaurant branding and how to kind of clarify this um, and build a very, very strong concept. Um, I would like as part of this video series to offer uh, a few of you a free review of a restaurant concept. And it doesn't matter if you are just starting and you have some kind of rough ideas or a mood board, um, or perhaps you're already um, have a document and you're looking to refine this, um, I'm happy to have a look at it. Um, I will be able to, um, and I'm happy to help you with kind of a overall evaluation of your concept, um, including uniqueness, uh, target market and competitive positioning. As we said, super important. And this is where most restaurants fail. Um, we can have a look at the, at the menu, service style, ambience, um, and even marketing strategy. Um, I'm happy to help you review your financial projections um, if you have some of those. Um, and of course, look into how we can strengthen this concept um, and increase your chances of success, uh, which of course, it's uh, very, very key to do before you open um, rather than trying to fix a lot of those uh, problems later on. Um, I will um, do this for the first five submissions. So I hope you look watching this video early on. Um, and if you would like to submit your document, uh, you can do so uh, sending it on my email. It will also be in the description um, below. Uh, and please send me uh, just a single PDF document uh, and put a free review on the title of the email. Uh, as always, I hope you enjoyed this um, little video. Uh, we're going to be having a few of those coming up in the next couple of weeks. Um, as always, if you like it, give the channel some love. It really helps. Um, like and subscribe. Uh, and if you have any questions or comments, you can always either email me directly or uh, put them in the comments below. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.